the most important things to learn in Photoshop is the Layers Palette. During the video, we're going to explore the basic functions of the Layers Palette, such as layer visibility, types of layers, how to create, rename, and delete layers, and how to rearrange layers, and how to use groups. Take a moment to open the document called Part 3, Layers Practice, and follow the first set of instructions. I'm going to try to keep this very simple because the layers concept can seem very confusing. There are a few different kinds of layers. Basically, you have solid layers and you have transparent layers. These thumbnails can be helpful to find out what kind of layer that you have. For example, transparent layers will often have this checker design on it which means that either all or part of that layer is transparent. Often if you have a solid background color, then you can see the solid color on the thumbnail. To demonstrate this transparent layer here, I'm going to turn the layer visibility off of all of the other layers. The layer visibility looks like this eyeball here, and if I click on it, you can see that I will turn off whatever content is on that layer. So now the only layer that you can see is the screenshot layer. The screenshot layer only has that one image of the screenshot that I took of the layers palette. And as I turn these back on, you can see that the T layers their text layers. The text layers only have the text on them that I typed. So there's no background here either. They also have the checkered background. And as I go down, you can see that all of these layers are also partially transparent. And if I click on the white background, then you can see that the white background only has that white color on it. I could do the same with the black only now we have a problem. You won't be able to see black words on a black background. Now I'm going to go over how to make a new layer. To make a new layer, you're going to go down to create new layer right next to the little trash can on the end. If I click that, it will add a new layer and it will title it layer one. Notice that this new layer is completely transparent. Now let me demonstrate that for you. Completely transparent means that there's nothing on the layer at all. In order to rename a layer, you will need to double click on only the words of that layer. Don't double click on the blue part. If you do that, you'll end up with a pop-up called Layer Style, and we don't need to look at that right now. So make sure that when you rename, you double click on the words of the layer, and we'll title that Empty layer and that's the process for adding a new layer and you can do whatever you need to do or want to do with this layer we'll talk more about effects to add to layers but for now that's how you add a new layer I'm gonna turn the visibility back on for all of my other layers and I'm gonna delete this black background just by clicking on the trash can you can also just use the delete key on your keyboard and it may ask you if you're sure you want to do that and you can click yes. Take a moment to read and follow the second and third set of instructions. 